Hi guys, uh, just a random video. This is the 15mm bell rock from Alternative Armies. Scruffy Crow. Ah! Uh, so I picked this guy up in my quest for epic scale demons. Um, just gonna start cleaning him up. He, as I said, is the 15mm bell rock from Alternative Armies. Didn't make much of him from the photos, uh, but he wasn't very expensive, so I thought I'd just pick one up, see what I could do with him. Maybe he'd be a demon prince, uh, maybe even a, another bloodthirster. Um, so, noticeable things I've seen already. He is a bit rough and ready. Um, got some mold lines that I need to clear up. Um, and I've actually, I've accidentally snapped one of his weapons off already. Had quite a thin connection point there. Uh, but that's fine because I was going to replace both of his weapons anyway uh, to give him a bit more of a bloodthirstery look. Uh, another thing that struck me straight away is he appears to be endowed with a cock and balls, which is unusual, uh, but that's fine. Sure, why not? And here are the wings. Um, let's see how he looks next to a couple of the demons for this army. Uh, this is the GW Epic Angron, and he sizes up to him, he's, he's quite big, uh, but I think he fair, fits fairly well alongside him. And one thing I have thought is if you are having trouble tracking this down, this guy would make, I think, quite acceptable, um, quite acceptable Angron replacement. Um, but I have one, so that's not what he's going to be. Here is the Greater Demon from the company whose name I can't remember. I'll flash it up on screen. Um, and compared to him, he is a little bit more on the small side. He also says Bloodthirster a lot less than this guy. This guy's screaming Bloodthirster at me. So maybe I won't go for the, uh, the whip option. But first things first is I'm gonna get all these mold lines cleared up and get these wings pinned on. They do have quite small little pins already included. Um, now I did pick this guy up off eBay um, and I'm starting to worry he's a recast uh, which would be a shame because I said the, the, the quality of casting is definitely not very good I assumed he was just a reseller of the uh, various 15mm lines including alternative armies uh, but if anyone's ordered from alternative armies before or has this miniature uh, please let me know in the comments if this is standard for their stuff or if this guy is especially rough and I should possibly look into whether or not he's a recast. Support uh, recasting from uh, from smaller miniatures companies. Uh, doesn't sit right with me at all. And as we move over to uh, Greater Demons over here, I'm going to stick him on a 25mm uh, round base. As I said before, I think I'm going to try and put all my... Uh, sort of HQ choices on two round bases uh, from now on. Okay, so I've given this guy a quick clean round. Uh, I'm probably gonna revisit some areas, but currently there's really not many bits uh, that my knife and file haven't haven't visited already. Um, this torso is still kinda, kinda mushy. Uh, we'll have to see how that paints up. On the shoulders here, you can always see how they've layered the putty on, which is interesting. I've also filed the nubs off the wings and drilled out the holes in the shoulders that were already there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my 1mm florist wire in one shoulder, and same again on the other shoulder. Big glue on there, and pop that off. I'm going to use the pins where they are. Now I'm going to use the pins uh, to line up where we need the holes drilled on the wings. Something like that. Could have been a little bit more on centre, but I think I've got away with it. And then we've got a bit of glue on there. And pop that straight in. 
and because I use this quite flexible and because I use this quite flexible pinning wire it gives me uh, a little bit of wiggle room with these pins to get these in exactly the shape that I want. I'm going to wait for that all to dry now and we will uh, come back and do some conversions. Okay, all the glue should be nice and sturdy now. And I've had a little think about how I am going to arm this guy. I'm going to replace the scythe hook thing he's got uh, with this axe off the Oathmark Heavy Dwarf Sprue. I thought the size and shape of it uh, worked quite well. Kind of fit with his pose and, um, and the style of the thing. It worked quite nicely. It's a demonic axe. Um, so I will snip it probably on that little join line there and then use this bottom half to stick out the bottom. Uh, with the other hand, I think I'm just going to scratch sculpt uh, a sort of cat and nine tails type effect down here. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then he's going to need some green stuff um, over his wing attachments. Okay, I did manage to drill into the axe handle, but as you can see, it's kind of distorted it, sent it white. Uh, so the, I put the pin into the plastic first, then threaded it through. You can see I've got my little nub hanging out the bottom. Here is the bottom half. I'm just going to put a dab of glue on here. Just a little drop. And that should fit quite snugly on the bottom. See that's the problem when you get the plastic that thin. Don't know if you can see that, but the plastic has split while I was trying to force that on. But that's fine. It'll still glue on, it'll still be nice and sturdy. Uh, we'll try and line it up with the shape of the rest of the axe though. Okay, I've started the whip with a little bit of my florist wire. So once again I've drilled all the way through his hand. It's a bit poking out the back there. Uh, and then a dab of glue on it and then I've just sort of looped it round. Got my green stuff mixed up. I'm just going to try and uh, cover this in green stuff and then sort of try and turn it into smaller lashes. Okay, I'm fairly happy with the way the green stuff's turned out. Uh, so we've fit, filled some gaps around his axe, we've put this sort of whip in uh, with the various strands and I've blended his wings in. And then since the green stuff's cured, and since the green stuff's cured, I've gone around with my file and I've just smoothed the green stuff so you shouldn't be able to see the joins uh, where the green stuff meets the metal. Um, so next step, uh, this guy is not, not going to get any filler, which I'd normally use, my wood filler, because uh, I quite like his sort of integral base anyway. Uh, I'm just going to go straight on with some PVA, just using an old cheap brush. Okay, so there's a nice coat of the PVA, and then just dump him in my fine bird sand. Okay, so I have thrown some paint on this guy. Uh, he's been painted up uh, with the same colour scheme as my demons from the previous video. I'm pretty happy with the way he's come out. Uh, he looks pretty cool, nice and red. Here he is next to my Bloodthirster proxy. Um, and he is, you know, uh, what I say, a head shorter. So I was thinking maybe he could be a demon prince, uh, but I think they probably have to be even smaller than that. So he might just be a standing Bloodthirster or a demon prince going forward, see how I feel. Um, yeah, pretty happy with him as a little model. You might even end up just being a imp for a 28mm scale. He's actually not a, a bad sized little demon uh, for 28mm scale. He was an incredibly rough model. Um, so the details on the face aren't, aren't ideal. And you can kind of see where the, the putty's been layered on the shoulder here. Um, so I'd be probably fairly wet. Probably fairly wet. So I'd probably be fairly wary about picking up models from uh, this company again. Uh, I'd have to uh, have in the back of my mind that it would, would take some work um, to look cool. Uh, but I probably would buy from them again if there was a model, uh, sort of 15 mil scale model that I did need. My only real problem with this guy is that he could have done with being a little bit shorter uh, for my needs anyway. But other than that, perfectly nice model and we'll, we'll see where he ends up in my army. Ah! And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. 
And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.